Next up, the hedge, and late to recover was Brown. Easy deuce. Auburn would like to get Broom off to a quick start. Kobe Wright gets to start his fifth of the season. Gamecocks go perhaps with their best offensive starting five. On cue, the basket, Wendell Green Jr. Bruce Pearl said to his team about two hours before tip this morning, this is not going to be easy. He's expecting South Carolina's best shot. The Carter, the only basket, that's a three. He's got 17. Came also, of course, on the ESPN. Vandy gets that win without Robbins today. How about that? Just three. Do you know which three? I do. I'm going to guess. Gamecock six and a half minutes since their last field goal. Crossover by Jackson. No. He'll get it back. You mentioned offensive rebounds. And the roll. Only three of 20 to start from the floor. Broom blocked by Jackson. Three on two. Quickly to Davis. Big came over to help. He's got to drop. He's got to drop down. Jackson open. That's a three. I could offer, especially yes. at that age. Lead is 10. It was green. It was two of three after getting fouled on the three-pointer right before that timeout. Michi Johnson trying to ignite a spark. High off the glass, and that one. Hankin Sanford was open. Shot clock under 10. 30 and white. Big man move, man. Oh. And a steal by Green. He lost the handle. Lincoln Sanford missed the layup. Jack area of the game that Williams does not impact because he's been solid defensively on Jackson as well. Spin by Jackson. Fade away. Interesting conversation. Yeah, he said, you know, I've always had a chip on my shoulder. It goes back to when he was playing ball back in the day. GG Jackson. Jackson answered. We'll see if Tennessee has something to say about that. And Auburn as well. Auburn in this defensive tenacity. And Wendell Green Jr. and Jalen Williams. Guys starting to figure things out. South Carolina four or five times next year. He's got two threes and a dunk tonight. Jackson. I think Bruce is good with it. Leo Berman gets off the bench. GG Jackson with the 18 points. Your row. Give him. Cox closed within six couple of occasions in the first half and then a late 10 to 2 burst kind of created this current separation Johnson an opening inside to Josh Gray double team he just kind of shoots it the way it ends up in his hands Aiden Brown bullies his way inside, throws it up. Well, Bruce Pearl has to be pleased with the production of his big man, Hayden Brown. Gray the rebound. Gray's had a positive impact. Two points, six boards. Make it four there. Davis comes in. Big possession now for both sides. Jalen oh. Williams rejected by Jackson on the way up. And he wants it. Here Wide open. Go. Big shot. And it's good. In the park for number one in orange. He just has a great understanding of the moment. Towards the double-double for four in orange. And Jackson. Starts with that February 4th game at Tennessee. Tennessee two times, Alabama two times, Arkansas two times, at Kentucky, Missouri at home. All four teams were in the top 10. Yes, you need to be good defensively, but you need to be better on the offensive end. Was it LeBron James that coined the phrase, good offense beats good defense? Yeah. Duke was the only team outside the top 40 defensive efficiency that made it. But we do have Alabama on Wednesday. <laughs> Green missed the front end. Hayden Brown clears. I see some positive things here 
in the last half for Carolina. No, because he's been so consistent for Auburn all year long. He's just had a couple of hiccups in the last couple of games. Talked about Gray. Strong finish. We feel like Jackson isn't done. That's a three. One of two. Feel like Jackson isn't done. That's a three. 